Hey, this is Alan Chenworth. Uh, beautiful January day in southern Utah. It was raining all morning, but the rains have quit. It's cool, but pleasant. Uh, we're, in, we're in the east fork of Beaver Dam Wash on a claim. It's owned by the St. George Prospecting Club, and they've been gracious enough to let me come down here and, and poke around. Um, on their claim on the bottom end, there's actually flowing water. So I thought I'd demonstrate some sluicing. This is my preferred sluice. It's a gold saver sluice made by the Roaring Camp Mining Company. And for my money, it's the best on the market. I have a lot of other sluices. I've got a keen and some other things, but this is the one I tend to use most often. It's small, six inches wide, two feet long. I tend to put a lot of material through it. it it'll take everything I can shovel into it. Uh, I've also used it with, with water that was just flowing through here, and it still had great recovery. Uh, today, I'm actually gonna show how to set it up on this little creek. Um, one of the reasons I like this sluice is because it sets up so well on little tiny creeks. You don't need much water flow. Uh, I've had what is really just a trickle, and I just make the sluice box angled a little bit steeper and it still works. So let's hurry and set this up. Okay, that's really all there is to it. Come over here a little closer. Now, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but when a sluice box is set up correctly, you'll actually have a V in the water that forms right to the head of the riffle. And I've got that, so it looks good. We've got a smooth flow through the thing. And uh, I'll shovel a little bit of sand in to make sure everything is uh, flowing correctly and, and all the rocks wash through properly. And uh, we'll adjust the flow if we need to. Okay, so most of the big rocks are sticking. We probably need to speed that up, and we can angle the sluice just a little bit more. Until the rocks start to blow through. Now we can see the rocks are just rolling through here. That means it's probably set up pretty close. We're not going to get them all through. And some of the big rocks, I'm going to have to help them through and knock them a little bit. But uh, that should be good enough to run a good bit of material. So I'll go ahead and start shoveling, and we'll see what we get. Okay, if you notice, it's kind of backing up a little bit. I've got a lot of rocks heading on the front end. That's okay. What I usually do is take my shovel and turn it edgewise to the current. Just give it a little nudge. Once you get it moving, they'll usually push on through. I've been working this about uh, 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, cleaned off a bit of this little ledge here. And that should be enough to see if there's really anything worth 
mining in this area. So we'll go ahead and clean this sluice up. We'll show you how quick and easy this is to clean up. So grab a pan. All right, we'll grab a pan. I usually use two. I fill one with water. This is held on by a wing nut. Once through that. Need a second hand to rinse the food out. Then I'll wash the carpets out really quick. That sluice is cleaned up, and all the materials in here. We'll walk over here to where the water's a little bit slower, and we'll pan it down. So when I pan down concentrates, I always use a catch pan. Uh, that way you don't lose any gold. Alright, there's the black sand. Beaver Dam Wash is, is known for black sand. I'm a little bothered because I don't see great big black sand. In this canyon, there's often great big chunky black sand, often as big as the size of your fist. The pea and marble size is not uncommon, and all this stuff here is fine. But as you look through that, there are flakes of gold in this. If the camera can see that. So there is gold in this wash. Let's take a look at that sluice box again. All right, so again, this is the sluice. If you look at it, we've got good deep ripples, three quarter inch angle iron. Any gold that gets behind it tends to stay. I threw in some extra miner's moss, let the, the gold settle down through and keep it out of the current. I also don't use a full sheet of miner's moss. I lose a, leave a few of the riffles empty. Uh, that lets the water flow better and lets things settle and, and move better. Anyway, this is a great sluice. I can use it just about anywhere. If, it's, uh, if there's no water flow, I just make it steeper. If I've got lots of flow, I can direct the water as needed. Um, it's also small enough I can put it in a backpack. So it's a great little sluice. In this case, we hiked in for a mile. I just threw it in a five gallon bucket and walked in. And the whole thing only weighed about four or five pounds. And uh, as you can see with the recovery, that's a lot of black sand. And there's little specks of gold all through it. It's got great recovery. I figured at probably around 90% recovery for this little sluice. And it, it'll take everything I can shovel in it as fast as I can go. I uh, just got to make sure and knock the rocks through. It's a great sluice, and I hope I've been able to show you something on, uh, on sluicing. Thanks.